Welcome to the Moraine Historical Minute. Hi everyone, I'm Dave Miller with the City of Moraine. Moraine is rich in history and today we once again shake the dust off another exciting old police file case from the early days of Moraine. It's called the Great Algonquin Club Raid. Back in 1934, one year after Prohibition ended, on August 24 of 1934, the grand opening of the new Algonquin Club in Miami Shores took place, featuring Don Burt and his orchestra. They also offered delicious sandwiches and beer available. As the Dayton Herald newspaper described, this club will provide an unusually attractive place for those who like dining and dancing. Today, Moraine senior citizens still talk about the day 14 years later when the club was raided for illegal gambling. On March 6, 1948, at 425 in the late afternoon, the sheriff deputies simultaneously raided the Algonquin Club at 3054 Sellers Road over in Miami Shores, and also the Moraine Smokery at 2652 Edison Avenue, which today, Edison Avenue is now called Blanchard Avenue. Both facilities operated illegal betting operations, violating the state racehorse law. With 125 autos packed in the back or the side of the Algonquin Club, a sheriff's car occupied by two uniformed officers pulled into the parking lot. A parking lot attendant, who doubled as a lookout, spotted the sheriff's car and quickly went into the club for a minute and then he returned back outside. The two plainclothes deputies walked up and rang the club's doorbell trying to get in. The lookout, not knowing they were deputies, told the two men they couldn't get in right now with the sheriff's car parked out front. The two plainclothes deputies then broke down the front door and entered, and they found about 300 men and women making book on racing. The deputies confiscated racing forms, betting slips, and evidence against the owners, Herbert Rumberger, who was operating the club at the time. He was arrested immediately. Back over at Moraine Smokery, which is right beside the old Frigidaire plant off of Springboro Pike, and in fact, it was actually located across from Frigidaire plant number two. The deputies found nearly 100 people inside gambling on horses. One man and woman who seemed to be on the in and knew about the coming raid, decided just to stick around. The woman saying, I've never been in a raid before. <laughs> Tim Sizer, operator of the Marine Smokery Handbook, was caught by deputies stuffing handfuls of money into a canvas sack. Deputies did not find one display of cigars, tobacco, or cigarettes in the smokery, but they did find popcorn and soft drink vending machines, beer, a pool table, a loudspeaker, and blackboards listing the horse race tracks and betting instructions. As always, a tip of our hat to our law enforcement agencies for these two successful raids. That was a nostalgic look back at the Great Algonquin Club Raid. I'm Dave Miller, and thanks for tuning in to this edition of Moraine Historical Minute.